observing space telescope according to wikipedia an optical instrument which helps distant objects appear nearer it has an arrangement of lenses or curved mirrors and lenses by which rays of light are collected and focused and the resulting image is magnified we will learn the following concepts in this chapter forms of light telescopes and types of telescopes telescopes in space indian space research organization that is isro will one telescope be enough for us to observe space completely why do we need different telescopes for the purpose our telescope installed even in space in this chapter we are going to study the science behind many such questions before beginning with this chapter it will be helpful if you are familiar with fundamentals of reflection and refraction from early days man has been curious about the sun as well as the moon and stars seen in the night sky using his boundless imagination he tried to understand the sky as observed by the naked eyes he noticed that the position of stars changed with time and had something to do with the occurrence of seasons as the knowledge of cycle of seasons was necessary for agriculture sky watching began to prove useful to him the position of the constellations was also useful to see goals for navigation man began to make determined efforts to find answers to question which arose out of his sky watching but he did not have any equipment to get a closer view of the stars and planets in the sky in 1608 spectacle maker and researcher hans leverhe discovered that seeing through two lenses kept behind one another seems to bring objects closer to us he thus made the first telescope galileo made a telescope in 1609 and used it for space observations he realized that there are many more stars than what could be seen with naked eyes Using his telescope he also discovered the moons of Jupiter the black spots on sun etc Today 400 years after Galileo's use of the telescope tremendous progress has been made in telescope technology and in space science and technology on the whole This great leap in the technology has helped to construct for us an astounding picture of our universe Space science and technology are not only important for research purposes but also to help provide us with many of the comforts and facilities we enjoy in our everyday life. To understand telescope, we first need to understand why there is a limit to what we can see with eyes. When something is farther away, it appears smaller because of perspective. and also gets darker eventually getting to the point where there is just not enough light bouncing off the object and reaching our eyes here pavlin comes into the picture as we know light is an electromagnetic wave every wave has a characteristic wavelength our eyes can see only that light which has wavelengths between 400 nanometer to 800 nanometer We cannot see radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves because they have a wavelength larger than 800 nanometer. And the ultraviolet rays, X-rays and gamma rays are not visible by our eyes because they have lengths smaller than 400 nanometer. Thus we use the visible radiation telescopes as this telescopes made from regular lenses or mirrors optical telescope. An optical telescope gathers light mainly from the visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum to create a magnified image for direct view. Most optical telescopes are made with two or more lenses. At the far end of the telescope is a concave lens called objective lens. A smaller lens at the other end is called eyepiece. 
light rays change the direction as they enter objective lens and crosses each other at a point called focal point. The collected light passes through eyepiece which produces a large image of the source. This is called refraction. Hence, such telescopes are called refracting telescopes. Optical telescope is useful for space observation, but it has certain limitations. It is very difficult to make very large lenses. Also, large lenses are very heavy and tend to get distorted. Length of the telescope also increases with increase in the size of the lenses and the telescope becomes difficult to manage. The images formed by lenses have errors of colors. This is called chromatic aberration. Reflecting telescopes To overcome difficulties presented by optical telescope, telescopes are made using concave mirrors. Since light rays get reflected by mirrors, they are called reflecting telescopes. The reflecting telescopes are mainly of two types, Newtonian and Cassegrain. To get a bright image of a source, large mirrors are necessary and it is easier to make large mirrors. Also, big mirrors can be made by combining several smaller pieces. The weight of a large mirror too is less than that of a lens of the same size. The images formed by mirrors do not have errors of color. Newtonian Telescope Light rays coming from space are reflected by the concave mirror. Before this reflected rays converge at the focus, they are deflected again by a small plane mirror. As a result, they get focused at a point lying on the perpendicular to the axis of the telescopes. They pass through the eyepiece and we get a magnified image of the source. Cassegrain Telescope the Cassegrain telescope also uses a concave mirror. Light rays are reflected back towards it by a small convex mirror. They pass through a hole at the center of the concave mirror and then through the eyepiece situated at the back of the mirror. The eyepiece gives us a magnified image of the source. Arya Bhatt Research Institute of Experimental Sciences, Nainital. In India, we have several telescopes with concave mirrors of 2 meter diameter that have been in use for many years. The biggest optical telescope in India having a mirror of 3.6 meter diameter is situated in Arya Bhatt Research Institute of Experimental Sciences, Nainital. This is the largest optical telescope in Asia. Radio Telescope Many heavenly objects emit radio waves in addition to visible radiation. We cannot see this radiation with our eyes. Hence, a special type of telescope is used to receive these rays. It is called a radio telescope. It is made from one or more dishes of a particular parabolic shape, as in optical telescope, the incident radio waves are reflected by this leashes and converge at the focus. A radio receiver is placed at the focal point. The information gathered by this receiver is passed on to a computer which analyzes it and constructs an image of the source. GMRT has been erected at Narayan Gao near Pune. It uses radio waves having wavelengths of about a meter coming from heavenly bodies to, to study those bodies. This telescope is actually a collection of 30 dishes, each having a diameter of 45 meter. It is called a giant telescope as the arrangement of the 30 dishes over an area which measures up to 25 km across is made in such a way that it works as a single dish having a diameter of 25 km. This means that the GMRT gives the same data that we would have got from a telescope having a single dish of 25 km diameter. GMRT has been made by Indian scientist 
and engineers at minimum cost. Telescope in space Optical and radio telescopes present some problems in making good quality observations due to change in atmospheric pressure and temperature, sunlight, satellites, cloudy weather, turbulence in atmosphere, etc. Without these, it would have been able to observe galaxies very clearly. Here, telescope launching in space came into the picture. Light from other stars or light that gets reflected off other planets can travel undisturbed to this telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope launched in 1990 is the most famous and it is a reflector telescope. It has produced most memorable images of the distant galaxies and it is able to pick out objects with an accuracy equivalent to seeing a bird in Mumbai from New York. It has a mirror of diameter 94 inches and is orbiting the Earth at the height of 589 km from it. In 1999, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration launched an X-ray telescope named Chandra in space to study X-rays coming from heavenly objects. India, the IRS satellite series is used for the monitoring and management of natural resources as well as disaster management. Astrosat. In 2015, Indian Space Research Organization ISRO launched an artificial satellite called Astrosat in space. This satellite has ultraviolet and X-ray telescopes and detectors. Most of the parts used in this satellites are made in India. It is a unique system having different kinds of telescopes on a single satellite. Indian scientists are studying various aspects of the universe using the data obtained with these telescopes.